Hi everybody. Today's the 10th of the month, which means we're doing 10 on the 10th, a Christmas card collaboration put on by Kim of Metal Scrap and Chick. And I have links to the other creators down in my description box. We make 10 more or less cards every month so that we'll be ready for the hectic Christmas season. So let's get started with mine. If you'll notice the card layout, it looks familiar. Well, let's try this one. It looks more familiar. We just used this in the April 2022 She Load Sketch. I wanted to try it with Christmas cards. So let's get started. I used the classic vintage Christmas collection and I had some scraps, so I thought I would use those. I have a couple of pieces that were perfectly cut out to fit, so let me start out with those. I had this really beautiful piece, the snowflakes and the silver, so I backed that with that holographic paper that I bought, and this is heat embossed silver, and then this is the first white glitter paper tree that I die cut, and so I used it. I did the backing with white. And then this extra piece here, and in red, it's the most wonderful time of the year. And this is another piece that I, I just had, the one piece of that, that worked. And so I cut this with a punch. I have a tree punch to make the smaller one. And I had the, the brick here. And this is heat embossed also with white powder, or yes, white embossing powder. Wonderful time of the year. And there's the brick. Okay, all of these outside sentiments are heat embossed. Here's another cute pattern pink with different color trees and then the peppermint candy. This is heat embossed in red. There were some of them that I went ahead and stamped with real red ink. And then there's others that I stamped with VersaFine and then used red embossing powder. It's hard to tell the difference. And then again, it's the most wonderful time of the year. Both of these sentiments come from the Holly Jolly set from Stampin' Up. Now here's my cute little fawns. And they have, if you look at the pattern paper, the, the this fawn had a regular drawn Santa hat on. But I went ahead and glued one of my little felt ones. I thought that was cute. And I made the snowflake kind of the same color. This is pretty peacock and it's kind of a contrast. And then these are Neptune Nouveau Drops. The red ink again with the pink background. I also matted all of them as you'll, you'll continue to see. I matted. Okay, here's We Wish You Merry Christmas. The little Santa hat. And these are pink new of drops, shimmering pink. And there is the pink with the red and green Christmas trees. And then here's this cool paper with all the different sayings on it. Pink. I backed it. This is for Coco Rose. And then the pink Christmas tree. Those were real popular back in the day. And this is pretty peacock ink that I just put clear embossing powder over. And then these two are, I'm not sure what colored Nuva drops those are. And then there's a pink stamp snowflake. And then here's a little picture of the fawns. And here's another one with the fawns. Now, if you notice, I went ahead and 
put this over here because I had cut this one different and so the Santa hat would have been in the way. So there was no way I could put that over there. So I just put it over here. I put a silver snowflake. And this is solid, a solid silver paper. And then the peppermint candies. And this I backed in real red. And there's the Santa hat again. We wish you Merry Christmas. And this is Ruby Slippers, new of drops. And then the green punched out tree on the real pretty wreath paper. And here's again the, the pink with the green and red trees. This is um, my Versifying Claire Green Oasis. And I just use clear embossing powder. And these are the Ruby Slipper Nouveau Drops in the brick. And then I went ahead and stamped that in the same Versifying Claire green ink. And then last but not least, I've got my white glitter tree. Those were popular back in the day also. My pink, multiple sayings. Now, I made this one before I remembered to do the backing, <laughs> like it had in the sketch. But I thought it looked okay. And this is Ruby Slippers. This is red. Red on pink, a little different. And then here's our little fawns. It's the most wonderful time of the year. So here are my 10 cards for this month. Please be sure to check out all the other collaborators. Link down in my description box and see what they made. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.